Hey rookies, what's up? Welcome to another edition of the Bourbon Rookie. My name is Kevin. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm not feeling all that great. I got I got banged up last night drinking this at my local cigar shop. 115 proof. Three glasses of that really had, had its way with me. And I'm not a big drinker, so. Anyway, uh, I probably should be doing this review tomorrow, but I'm on a schedule. Uh, at any rate, uh, I'm excited to do a tasting of uh, this. I say the best way to get over uh, a little bit of a hangover is to drink some more. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have this Widow Jean, uh, the 10 year, uh, 91 proof. Uh, Basically one of those, you know, MGP products uh, where they bl it's blended and then I guess they add water, uh, a mineral water that they are touting on their website that they get from some place upstate that uh, the Rosendale Mines that I've never heard of, but it might be a cool place to go visit. You never know what's in your own backyard where you live. Um, that mine would probably be about two hours from where I'm at right now. And the Widow Jane factory is in Red Hook, Brooklyn, which is a little bit of a shithole. Uh, but they do have tours. And uh, I almost scheduled a tour for them today uh, for sometime next month. But uh, I will re revisit that. I was thinking about taking a tour of the facility, but it's just a matter of getting to that area because I'm sure they're in a warehouse off the water and everything around it is shit. And then trying to find a place to park and, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I'll work on that and we'll see where we go with that. But it's exciting. that Their, their facility's, like I said, probably about an hour from here. So it's just a matter of uh, the where and when. But... Uh, Widow Jane's doing some exciting things. Uh, they're saying that in a few, that they're hoping that in a few years they'll have their own uh, straight bourbon that they'll manuf that they'll be making uh, with their own whiskey. Um, so let's see. Let's get right into this thing. Um, Say uh, the aroma is vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cream. That's the aroma. The taste, orange, maple, cherry, and almond. And the finish, charred oak and spice. So let's see if that's what I get. Okay, so I've gotten into this and I've already um, probably down like three glasses of this already. As you can see by the bottle. And part of the reason why is because when... I don't know about whoever else's process out there, but my process, I tend to fuck up a lot. So I do edits. So by the time I'm done with all this, I'm, I'm drunk. Which ain't always a bad thing. So, as you can see, it's got a nice color. All right. I'm sorry, I know this looks disgusting, like I'm blowing snot into this thing, but I'm really not. I, t I find that this actually helps me because one side of the nose might get a different scent than the other, right? So on this side, I'm getting more of the oak coming up into the sinuses. This side, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more caramel. I'm, I'm still getting sinuses, but I'm, I feel like I'm getting... The caramel on this side, and a little bit of the fruit on this side. That's just me. It's just me. Um, and you can see that the oils, I don't know if you can see it. The oils aren't really rushing down the glass. I mean, it seems a little bit thin. Um... But not that thin, you know, like the oil, the oil's not just running down the, gla the glass on this. Anyway, cheers. Let's get into the, into the uh, palette. It 
it's it's really good. It's just so good. It it's just it's just good. I mean, I'm getting the creme brulee. To me, the the, the the it's like a dessert, right? I'm getting the the butterscotch caramel creme brulee with maybe a little bit of an orange splash on it. Like if that, I mean, it's just delicious. It's like something that you want after dinner. Um, almost as an, it's almost an aperitif. And it's, it's odd that I'm saying that because I've done a couple of reviews recently. Uh, uh, Woodenville. Woodenville was the biggest one. The Woodenville Port 90 proof. That is totally an aperitif because of the, the, the port finish. Just such a dessert um, whiskey. You can almost get that from this. Like, you just want, like, okay, here's the example. I mean, I just opened it. That's probably three glasses right there. It's just so easy to get into this and drink it. It's just, it's just so delicious. Um, there's a hint, there's a hint of the spice and a hint of the oakiness that goes down through the throat into the chest. The sinuses open up nicely. It's not... As viscous as you would want it to be, like for me, I have to really coat the mouth with it to feel like I'm getting from front, from the front of the palate to the back. Like I really have to coat um, the palate. And I just said that. I don't want to say it again. Uh, I paid 60, 68 bucks for this total wine. Um, I could have got this locally. This is pretty much readily available uh, at the local shops. It's a 2022 batch. This is a fabulous bourbon. I just wish it was 10 bucks cheaper. Honestly, I think I think the price point's a little too high on this because when you start getting into the 70 to $100 range, you want to put your money somewhere else. You know what I mean? And what, what you know, if I'm going to spend 70 on this, maybe I'll try the anniversary. I might be disappointed with that. We'll find out. I'm going to go for that eventually. Uh, but what everybody else is raving about online. The, uh, the Elijah Craig, right? The barrel proof. You know, at about 100 bucks, maybe you want to... If you're going to spend 70 on that, you may just want to go another 30 bucks for something that everybody's raving about all over the internet. Um, or whatever, you know? Um, but at any rate, it's, I know this just should be a review, not a condemnation of the company. It's a delicious bourbon. It's, it's definitely a recommend if you, if you, if you're going to spend the money and you got it and you, and you, this would be a great bourbon even, I know it's going to sound for beginners. The only pro, I mean, and I know a lot of beginners will probably spend the money on that because they just don't know. But this is a great bourbon for a beginner. You know, we always they always talk about that. Like, what would you start a beginner on? This, it's delicious. What I will say is, uh, I for the price point, this bourbon, and I should go grab it. Um, I'll be right back. Hold on. I would say that I would almost prefer this, Cyrus Noble. And this is what happens when you get older. That's why I had to take a break. So I had a brain fart on the name of this shit. Um, I would almost say that this is anywhere from $35, $32 to $39, depending upon where you're at in the store. Um, to me, this 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 is very comparable to the, the Widow Jane, excuse me. See, what's what happens? Another thing that happens when you get older, you get acid reflux, especially when it comes to bourbon. It's not a good, not a good combo, but fuck it. All right, so Cyrus Noble 90 proof. Okay, stretching, I'm doing all kinds of calisthenics here. I did a, um, a segment on this, the Cyrus Noble, and I actually loved it. So here we got Cyrus Noble. A little bit lighter on the nose, a little bit more eth ethanol y than this. But there is a hint. Well, it's definitely vanilla. There's a hint of a custard note on here. Okay, and I'm pretty 
I haven't smelled this in a little bit. It's not influencing me, guys. Trust me. Vanilla, cinnamon are the forefront. A little bit of a custard note. A little hint of a custard on the end. This one's a little bit tartar. More tart, excuse me. Lighter in color. It's thin, 90 proof. It's as thin as, well, last time I did this, I made a fucking mess. Can you see that? Viscous wise, it's about the same. The flavors in this are, to me, wonderful. They're a little bit more subdued little bit more, you're getting more of a, this is, I'm not saying, I'm saying for the price point, 30, I, I think I paid 39 for this, maybe cheaper. I think I might have, I actually might have paid 35. But there's a little bit more of a cherry on this as opposed to the uh, the Widow Jane. Um, there's a little bit of a, of a cream creme brulee. But there's a little bit of a difference in the spice profile because of the wood. I think this is made with like an a, 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 like a, an aged, like a white oak. This is a white oak I think this was aged in. And it's really good. It's really good. I would probably buy this all day long over the Widow Jane. And I listen, I love the Widow Jane, but I just wish it was a little bit cheaper. I just wish it was a little, to keep it in my rotation. Does that make sense? So that's all I'm saying. You guys do what you want with it. Get, I, I, I don't think the Cyrus Noble gets enough attention on the internet and in the market just because it's, that's the only, I think this is the only whiskey that these, uh, that this company makes. It's just the 90 proof, uh, by the Haas brothers. Um, but give it a shot. Let me know what you think, head to head, you know, Cyrus Noble, Widow Jane. Like I said, the Widow Jane's wonderful. I haven't had all their products. I've had the 13 year, which I thought was wonderful. The 13 year, I think is over a hundred dollars a bottle. It's a little bit, it's very, it's a, it's a lot more complex, a lot more oaky, a lot stronger in flavor. I did a, uh, a single shot review on it because I, you know, it was one of those things that I can't, I can't find it in the store. Um, but I was able to find it at a restaurant and, uh, I, uh, I have a segment that called the single shot of, um, allocated, expensive allocated liquors that I can't afford to buy bottles of. But if I see it, I will pay the money and do the, and do the, the single shot if it's reasonable. I did a George T. Stag, which I, I think I paid $52 for one ounce, which was, believe it or not, I, I, I think a little bit of a deal. Um, so that's one of my segments. I did a review on, on the 13 year that way because you just can't get it on the shelf, uh, in a liquor store and it was good. It was good. Would I pay 125? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, I did a single shot review of the, uh, the, the Pappy Van Winkle. Um, but I also wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for a bottle of that shit either. I mean, it's great. Don't get me wrong, but nothing's worth that. Right guys. I mean, come on. Anyway, I'm waxing on. Um, Widow Jane's great. Should be cheaper. Shouldn't be $70 a bottle. It just shouldn't. This is comparable. It's a little bit lighter, uh, and a little bit more of a cherry. I would go with that over this any day. That's just me. And with that, guys, I'm going to end this because I've gone on way too long. Um, check me out on Patreon because I'm going to do the full version of this video. It's probably about 20 minutes of me uh, waxing on. And I'm just going to have to cut this down because I've, I've already gone on way too long. And I've probably lost everybody within 30 seconds. But uh, check me out for uh, my future cigar reviews. Did I mention already that I got the Padron Reserve? Online, no tax, no shipping charge for twenty nine fifty flat. 
my local cigar shop here had it for 41. So I'm gonna, I got a, I, I'm gonna be reviewing that and a couple other cigars that I got. My cigar reviews tend to get a little bit more traction. So if you don't like my bourbon reviews or my whiskey reviews, then let me know what I can do better, please. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, check me out on Patreon. And you know, if you like any of these shirts that I got, you know, I know there's a million fucking shirts out there. Um, but there is something to be said for if you like somebody's style and you like their content, um, you know, there is something to be said for the, the expense, uh, uh, you know, 50 cents earns these guys a, a, a new bottle to try, you know, review to review. So I kind of get it, you know, anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. It's Friday. It's almost the end of, uh, the month or is it? It's the 24th, 23rd, February. Have a safe weekend, and uh, God bless, guys. I'll see you uh, on the next video review.